Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. y'all I so what are we getting into today man y'all can see this is the first start of a new video with the new GT 500 in the background so yeah the CTSV got put outside for right now well I ain't gonna say right now because obviously I'm not gonna put the Viper outside so you know what I'm saying right now we're in the snake pit this is the new official dub name for the garage temporarily because we got the Viper and the Cobra in here. So this is the snake pit. <laughs> but man, as far as today goes, today we're going to be taking out the CTSV. I'm about to be getting some driving footage in, uh, in there for y'all. This is going to be the first time that you guys get to see this car run under full power and just do some POV driving, man. So I'm, I'm looking forward. Um, I haven't drove it since I left the dyno. Did a couple, you know, pull stuff here and there. The car feels absolutely amazing. I'm like... I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna talk about it right now because we're about to take it out for a drive, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we're also gonna be going to D's, but I'm gonna be splitting that up into two separate videos. That way we get uh, two birds with one stone today, or we get two videos with one camera today. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully y'all looking forward to uh, seeing the CTSV in action, getting some, you know, I'm sharing some POV footage for y'all because y'all been asking for it. So I'll say we're gonna be getting it again first day with the gt500 home i was gonna drive this to the gym but i was like you know what i have to get them some driving footage of the v so we'll take this thing out some other time but yeah with that being said let me go finish getting ready and then we're gonna be off i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'll be driving and all that stuff but see y'all in a second in the V. We are currently on our way to the gym. Got my water, got my pre-workout. They got construction stuff going on right here by the weed spot. Building new apartments and everything over here. But yeah, man, we in the V. This is y'all first time seeing this thing since it's been tuned. First time on the road. We got it in sport mode. Gas mileage is poo-poo now, but that is to be expected when you have 16 injectors and you're on E85. So, this car is a completely different car now compared to when I, I, I mean, of course, when I, when I first got it, because this shit made like 370 horsepower. We had a supercharger coolant pump that wasn't working, so the air intake temps are hella high. When air intake temps are high, car pulls timing and it just doesn't make power. So that's why we had such low horsepower numbers. Since then, the supercharger pump's been upgraded with you know some, some uh, high flowing, high dollar fancy shit that seems to work very well. Air intake temps are cool. Right now we're at 92 degrees as far as the uh, air intake temps go. But overall, man, this thing is a monster. And it actually works and hooks with the tire setup. So I'm taking y'all with me on a gym, a little cruise, but monster now. Tires are cold, so I might spin. <laughs> Bruh. So when everybody was super hurt that I had got rid of the C6, man, I had already had a plan to replace the C6 with this thing and make this thing a monster. So. There's no way I was gonna get rid of my second fastest car on the channel and not replace it with something equally as fast or faster. So even though I said I was keeping this thing stock from the beginning, I was already planning on making this faster than my C6. So there's never gonna be a moment where I downgrade from something you guys love to something that's not gonna be an upgrade. Like I'm just not gonna do it. I'm always gonna try to try to elevate and go up on any of the builds and stuff that I do. I'm sorry, I'm stuffed too still. But this thing is like an absolute monster compared to the C6, dude. 
and it's like it's super comfortable like we're literally doing pulls with the ac on it hooks we have ac seats they're not on because it's not that hot outside but i <laughs> do like this is easily one of my favorite cars easily like i would probably keep this car over a lot of cars just for the simple fact of comfort and just the versatility of it let's get another one there another full on sand let's go ready not translate through like on video but this thing is nasty these shifts hit hard They're like bah, bah, bah. and dude hold on, let me show y'all let's turn traction off traction off this thing actually hooks without traction on 20s that's what i'm really impressed with on 20s this thing still hooks without traction control on <laughs> all right so the tires were a little cold right there so we got squiggly as hell when we hit that third gear shift but usually when the tires are like fully warm this thing actually hooks it hooks third gear so from a 40 row this thing bro this thing will destroy a lot of cars dude this car is so sick there's so much i can say i'm just worried about this memory card breaking on us so yeah man this thing is amazing now these lt4s are just crazy with it i can't believe i waited so long i was just i was afraid of the uh direct injection stuff man but if money isn't an issue and you can afford to do the port injection instead of dealing with the low side and high side trying to add a cam to get more flow out of the out of the high side and all that dude just do the fucking port injection off the bat and don't worry about it like I don't have to do no pre-mixing on E. Like I can run full E right now. Like there's none of that BS that you have to deal with. So I would highly recommend it. Yes, it's expensive to do, but in the end, bro, it's worth it. 953 horsepower at 14 pounds of boost with a custom cam, dude. Other than that, just the general stuff, Johnson lifters, ARP head studs, like the basic stuff you would do when you're in there. Like there's nothing fancy about it. I just think the cam setup works really well with the combination. versatile and this fun dude this thing is faster than what my se used to be and it's like it's auto like i never thought i'd be interested in the auto car other than the gt500 but god this fucking eight speed is like amazing granted i hope it doesn't break on me but dude right now it is working phenomenal like i love this car y'all see the car hooks we've always had traction issues always we've always had traction issues and here we are on 20s in the v3 with no traction issues like i am amazed at how well this works on the 20s but this thing is working on 20s dude and it's hooking putting down 950 horsepower without an issue so for anybody that was interested in getting a v3 dude like i would highly recommend saving up and getting one they're amazing cars even with the factory suspension there's nothing on here that i've replaced yet it's all the factory uh shock springs everything so the ride height everything's factory like it sits amazing it rides amazing the car feels like it has coilovers on it i'm pretty sure these come with like mag ride and all that stuff like most of the newer uh, high-end cars so just out the box dude with bolt-ons this thing just responds so well Shout out to Magnuson for, you know, partnering up with us and um, sending over the 2650. Shout out to my guy Josh over at GRG for doing the entire build in five days. And of course, shout out to my tuner Jason for, you know, putting this all together and making the magic happen with the little, you know what I'm saying, the little, <laughs> little finger clicks. But I'm like highly impressed with this car. I love this thing. And like, I really can't wait to get some runs in with it. 
Uh, we still have the smaller pulley in the back. I could upgrade this thing and get this to make a thousand plus, but I think I'm gonna just leave it. Like it works right here. It's fun. It's reliable. Dude, we're not even stressing this thing at 14 pounds. Like we could easily run this supercharger up to like 20, 20 something pounds, not a problem. But like, I'm just impressed that the car works and functions at this horsepower level. So I kind of want to just leave it like this. And you, you can drive, I'm in sport mode, bro. Y'all don't even hear any droning in the car, which is crazy. It still drives like a factory car. Still. Bruh. Still drives like a factory car. So I'm almost at my gym. Today is Monday, so Mondays are our chest and try day, so. I might take y'all in there with me. I don't really post too many workouts, but I might take y'all in there for me for a little bit. Show y'all some bench, you know what I'm saying? Cause I definitely feel like I'm getting stronger out here. Cause you know what I'm saying? We've been consistent at it. Ooh, I'm still fluffy, but I'm not as bad, you know? I'm my old six foot two, 270, and my body fat percentage isn't that bad. I'm like, I wanna say I was like, when we checked like 200 or something, pounds of lean muscle so if i can get rid of my damn gut boy i'll be in the dough all right so we got my trainer dougie fresh here yes, look he's trying to flex he's sitting here like this on the camera so let me flex up <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we got the big cam today so yeah we got the v we got the dougie today is chest day right best day ever cool chest day, baby Yep, let's get gangs. That's where uh, you know dreams happen. Baby gangs. That's where you get the ladies at, right? Gangs, baby gangs. <laughs> <laughs> this shit will have you amped right here. Total War needs to give me a sponsorship because I'm tired of ordering this shit. For a minute, I was buying it from the gym. You know, they got the uh, they got the the movie slash airport markup. <laughs> 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 All right, so first we're gonna start off with some incline bench. I know y'all don't want to see this right now, so. We'll wait till we get over there to the other bench. I'm not gonna show y'all the full workout and all that other shit. Are we gonna go heavy on bench today or what? Or yeah, eh? Every day. Every day? Every Monday. Every Monday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, yeah, we're gonna get warmed up and then we'll go over there. I'll record with y'all after we get done doing the incline stuff and we get on the uh, flat bench. I hate lifting on the Smith machines because of the, keeps you all banged up and then all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to freely hold it, so we ain't gonna shit. All right, so we already did a couple warm-up sets. I think this is set, what's this, three or four? This is two. It's two? No, that's the third set. Warm-up set doesn't count. No, nah, I did a warm-up set, then I did two when Spence was here. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. try to play me. Ain't no extra credit today. <laughs> so I told him, usually two plates, this is like, this would be light work, but I told him, man, I think this Smith machine needs some WD-40 or something. I feel like we got some resistance because it feels a little heavier than what it should feel. Dry spray. Yeah, it needs some, it needs somebody to spit on it or something. <laughs> Hit this real quick. Bro, this feels heavier than it should, I'm telling you. This feels closer to 315. Why does it feel so heavy, buddy? I don't know. What'd you do? You know this feels heavier than it should. Uh-uh. I think it's Monday. That's not the... That's not why. We're <laughs> I'm telling you, it feels heavier than it should be. You know it does. Uh, it did it to does. me, too. It did you a little bit. We did three plates of this on the regular bench, no problem. Here we are, struggling on the Smith machine with two. Here's what it is. Spit on it. We gotta keep, I need just we spit gotta on keep it. it rocking. I need to just spit on it. Look, it's the resistance right here, a little dust bunny. <laughs> this gotta equivalent to at least four pounds of resistance. You hit it two times. Nope. Two. Can't do it. Yeah, you can. can. You're strong as shit. Can't do it. Come on. Come on. Two. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dougie Fresh, man. All right, moving on to the flat bench now. No more Smith machine. This should be easier. Oh, 
Hey, that, that's what feels easier. Bruh, it's the Smith machine, yo. No. For real. <laughs> That's the Smith machine resistance. Yeah, the resistance of it. And you were doing incline. Way more better? Way more better. We are Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, Dougie. Drop and give me 50. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with our, our chest. Now we're about to hit some tries real quick. Had a camera over to Dougie Fresh. How many you want? Let's go 12. 12 to 15. We just finished up at the gym. Felt nice and tight. Sir, stay in your lane. Thank you, thank you. Bruh, I hate this memory card. This camera keeps breaking. It keeps saying I need a V30 or better memory card or something. So I need to look on Amazon and upgrade this thing. Some, or maybe I need to update my camera. I don't know. Yo, this camera is wild bugging, yo. If this thing break on us one more time, I'll just be back with y'all when I get to the house because this thing for show ain't acting right and it's hating on us. gallon all right what's good my peeps we are back at the hut Ooh, <laughs> so yeah man the camera was on on some bs but hopefully y'all got to enjoy some ctsv pools so now i'm about to continue with part two of today so i gotta start a new video again thank y'all for always watching and rocking with your boy until next time i need to set up some runs i'm gonna tell junior run that shit i need my rematch yeah that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go bully him now. We out, though. See you all in the next video. I've been going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit 65. I'm about to do